again I relapse but Hey guys, this is Rebecca. Welcome back to Beautiful. So as you guys can see, I have this full glam face on me right now and it's like a cool tone look i have done a cool tone look after such a long time and i love the way my eyes have turned out so i have used a bunch of new releases a bunch of new makeup in this particular video and i'm going to show you how i got this look using all those new products and there are some bomb products you guys i am so happy with the products that i used today because they were so much fun so much fun to play with and the final result as you can see looks stunning so if you want to know what products i used to achieve this particular makeup look please keep watching but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please join my little family right here and also please don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time i upload a video now let's get into this glam makeup look right here <laughs> so i've already done my skin care honestly my skin has been behaving so well these days i literally have clear skin except for the spots that are still in the process of vanishing but yeah touch wood my skin has been really really good so now i'm going to move on to primer now i have been actually using this becca's backlight priming filter ever since i got this so you guys must be knowing that becca recently released in india so i have been using a couple of products from them and i haven't spoken to you guys about it so i just wanted to show you how beautiful this particular backlight priming filter looks and once you like blend it out it gives you this really beautiful reflective glossy shiny skin it doesn't look glittery but it just gives me this really beautiful glass looking skin and it's not at all sticky it gets completely absorbed into the skin really really well so it's actually good for even oily skin type which is my skin type so i am just going to apply this at the highest points of my cheeks and just going to spread this out so i make sure that i'm not applying it in my t zone because there i have pores and i tend to get oily there so that's the reason for that it has this reflective effect to it i love it beneath foundation i've been using it constantly so if you guys must have seen my previous haul video i spoke to you guys about these two products these are the ramel lasting matte is a foundation and this is a matte primer and i told you guys that i'm going to put it to test so i'm going to do that today i am going to use this matte primer in my t zone to blur out my pores and i'm going to see whether this works or not like it does have like a lotion kind of uh, formula so i'm not really sure how this is going to blur out my pores but we are going to see So I'm just gonna apply this in my T zone. I'll leave it in the description box below for you guys to know whether this primer is good or not. Because right now I don't see much of a difference. Just a little bit of blurring and smoothing right here, but not like crazy amount of blurring or smoothing. Okay, now for foundation, I am using this Rimmel's Lasting Matte. full coverage mattifying foundation so i am not really a big fan of like very matte looking foundations so i am hoping that it does not look like a dry matte finish it's like a really moussey formula it's not a runny formula but it's like a mousse so let's see how it works I'm going to use a beauty blender on this side and on the other side I will use a brush to see what looks better. Okay, this foundation did blend really well and it's given me like a light to medium coverage as of now but looks and feels really smooth. 
I thought this is gonna be a heavy looking foundation, but it actually surprised me. I literally feel like I've not worn any kind of foundation on my face. Let me try this foundation out with a brush and see whether I get like more of a coverage. The brush that I'm using is the Pack 247 brush. Yes, a brush gives a, a fuller coverage and the application honestly looks very beautiful with a brush as well. I feel like the brush does a better job and it's so quick to blend this particular foundation. Just look at that finish. The finish is a beautiful. This is the side where I use my beauty blender and it has not given me much of a coverage so I'm gonna build it up with my brush but a brush does a way better job and look how flawless my skin is looking. So I'm just gonna take my brush and whatever is left on my hand and build up the coverage right here. It definitely is like a look at that it just covers so beautifully and it just blends so easily i love the fact that it blends so damn easily so far i am really impressed with this particular foundation it has completely set right now it's not sticky whatsoever I am loving this foundation. So for concealer, I do have the Rimmel's Lasting Matte Soft Matte Concealer. I have the shade Sun Beige in this as well. So let's see how this goes. I hope this does have coverage. Okay, I don't like the wand. It's too hard. Um, I am not really a big fan of the wand of this concealer because it does not hold that much product so I have to dip into the bottle again and again. Okay, so as I can see, it blends really quickly, but the coverage is more on the light to medium side, like it's not covering it up completely. It's a very thin concealer and has like a light to medium coverage, so yeah. Now to set my entire face, I have this Becca's. Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I haven't used this as of yet and I think this is just one shade. There are not many shades in it. I think this is the only one. So I'm just gonna use this and I love the fact that the packaging has a seal so that you know the powder doesn't really spill and inside it does have like that sifter. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and bake under my eyes so I'm not really sure whether this powder is meant for baking but I'm gonna check it out and the rest of the face I'm just gonna take the powder and set it so till the time the powder is baking I'm gonna do my eyebrows for that I am using the Kate Beauty's eyebrow pencil in the shade hazelnut and then I'm gonna brush it with my Maybelline's Total Temptation Mascara I've been loving to do this this bushy effect that my eyebrow gets with this particular technique
So just gonna remove the bake. Okay, so this powder has completely blurred out my skin, no doubt, but I just feel like there's a little bit of buildup of that powder on my skin. I don't know whether you can see, but it has a little bit of a white cast already showing through the screen now. So I don't know how it is going to perform in flash photography, but like yeah it the powder just looks like it's sitting on the skin that's what i don't like so for eyeshadow palette i do have this new eyeshadow palette by milani this is called as the gilded coast palette now honestly i have a lot of milani palettes i actually feel like milani palettes are really good quality but they are expensive like they the eyeshadow palettes are more on the high end side like i don't know how much this palette costs but i'm pretty sure this also must be around 2000 2700 rupees so yeah i'm not really sure whether you know i would invest in them or not but this is what it looks like it's a more of a cool tone palette so i'm going to do like a cool tone look i don't remember the last time i did a cool tone look so yeah something new today so this is what the palette looks like you get 1 2 3 4 5 15 15 shades in this palette you get a beautiful blue there are some golds here there are some like silvery gray shades taupey shades so we are going to put this to test so let's start off with this shade called as likes a beach right here so okay not much of a color that's going to show up on my skin i think that's very close to my skin tone so i don't think that shade is going to show so i'm going to use the shade called as cruising and do you see the fallout that it has so i'm just going to place the shade directly into my crease and in my outer corners the brush that i'm using is the pack 107 a very soft shade and like the eyeshadow quality is like super duper soft it is pigmented but it's not like overly pigmented that you know it's going to be tough to blend it out it's blending pretty damn well so far so good so far that particular shade is looking good i'm just going to deepen the outer corner using the shade catch of the day it is more like a gun metal gray shade and i'm going to use a pack 114 brush please excuse the dogs i cannot do anything about that so i'm just trying to deepen the outer corners using the shade Like, do you see how beautifully this eyeshadow blends? It's not at all patchy, and that's what I love about Milani eyeshadows. They are not at all patchy. They have a very different formula, very like smooth and it's powdery, but it's just too smooth and pigmented enough. Okay. Now for my eyelids I am going to use this particular shade right here this is called as Shore House and I'm going to use that on my eyelids right here it looks like a pretty pigmented eyeshadow by the way oh, yeah that is pigmented for sure look at that pigmentation that is stunning It's been a while since I did like a cool tone look. Oh, 
okay then just in the center of my eyelids i am going to be using the shade called as eye ship just to see this is more of a coppery gray shade that one was more of like a sparkly gray shade for my inner corner i am going to use the shade wake yeah look at that that is so stunning oh that shade in the inner corner is just too perfect low waterline using the shade cruising right here on my next 13 brush and i'm just going to place this in my outer corners so today i am definitely going to wear some falsies so i wanted to try out this one i think these are the rene these are the rene lashes in the style the fury or the fiery ones and this is what they look like this is what they look like i don't know whether you can see it but it's like a pretty damn fluttery style so i'm going to cut these off to the size of my eyes and i'm also going to do a small wing liner using my nyx epic ink liner Okay, for mascara, I actually have this better than sex mascara by Too Faced. I tried it once, but I wasn't really a fan of it. So I just want to give it another go because I've heard that this is a really good mascara, and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is like a dupe for this. So because L'Oreal Lash Paradise is like my top favorite mascara, and this should be a little bit better than that, honestly speaking. Okay. first thoughts it's not a bad mascara i just feel like it's too wet right now it needs to dry a little bit for it to give me that full lash effect uh the l'oreal lash paradise is a little bit more on the drier side as compared to this one so that one gives me a lot of volume like the wand is exactly similar to the lash paradise one but It's not giving me the same effect as the Lash Paradise. I think I prefer the Lash Paradise over this. So my eyelashes are still drying, so I'm gonna just move on to the rest of the face till the time my eyelashes dry. So for bronzer, I actually purchased this Rimmel's Natural Bronzer, and this one is in the shade Sun Glow. It looks like a pretty damn bomb shade to me. So. I'm going to give it a try. It looks warm and red and usually that's not the tone that I like in my bronzer but I've heard so much good stuff about Rimmel bronzer. I'm using the Pack 368 brush to bronze up my face. I've been loving this brush by the way. It's so really precise and does the job of contouring as well as blending out my bronzer so well. Yeah, like can you see it's super duper warm. So I think if I wouldn't have done like a cool toned look and had done like a warm toned look, this would be a better shade match for that kind of makeup look. But since I've done like a cool tone look. It's looking too orange on me right now. So for blush, I am using my Clinique's Cheek Pop Blush Pop in the shade Ginger Pop. I showed you guys that I bought this particular blush in my previous 
haul video and I have been using this blush so much I love the shade it just gives me that really healthy flush and it's like a pop of color on the cheeks but it's not so loud it's like really subtle and looks really pretty um, so I'm just gonna place it right at the highest points of my cheeks and I'm gonna place it like backwards not like get it all the way inside this way it just lifts my face up look at the difference it's just lifted so that's another thing that I've been doing like placing my blush right at the highest points of my cheeks and look at that shade it's such a pretty natural looking blush the formula on the Clinique blush is stunning I love the formula so for highlighter I have the Becca's what is this called shimmering skin perfecto this one is in the shade opal i have been loving this highlighter especially this shade opal is perfect for my dusky medium skin tone so i'm gonna use this today since i haven't used this with you guys so i'm taking my pack 094 brush it's like a true gold with a little bit of pink hue to it like you guys must be knowing that Becca is known for their highlighters so yeah look at that that is just a stunning stunning highlight just making sure to connect it and blend it out Skin is like glistening. Okay then. Okay, I just applied these lashes. These lashes are super duper pretty. Like they are fluttery. They are very light. They are a little bit or more on the dramatic side, but they are still like naturally dramatic I love love these lashes I let's move on to the final part that is the lips so I bought this new lip liner by Kiko Milano and this is in the shade of 531 I suppose and it's like a dark brown sharpen karne wale lip liners I don't understand why like all lip liners are like the ones to sharpen but yeah I'm gonna use this. So this is like a chocolatey brown shade. Ooh, the formula is so good. Like it's a perfect lip liner formula. It's not too soft. It's pigmented, but it's not too soft that the tip will break. And it's precise, obviously. Oh my god, the shade is so good. I need to get more shades in this lip liner. This lip liner is... So, for lipstick, I am using the Milani's Amor Matte Lip Cream in the shade. Uh, stunning. It is such a oldie, but such a goodie. I love the shade on this. You guys also seem to love this shade on me, like when I used to apply it back then. It's been too long since I applied the shade. Look at that. It's the perfect brown nude. One last step I am gonna do is I'm gonna set my face using the Ellie Girls Prime Spray Prep and Hydrate Face from Makeup. This is so good. I have been using this so much. Such a good setting spray. and has a really good sprayer to it as well
So guys, this is the final result. I am loving this makeup look right here. The eyes look super duper fierce. I love the way my eye makeup has turned out. I love the eyelashes. I love the way my skin is looking. This foundation actually is so good. It looks super duper smooth on the skin. It is a matte foundation. Keep that in mind. I can definitely see that it's a matte foundation. It does not have any shine whatsoever, but it's not like a sukhawa matte dikhne wala finish. It is like a soft matte finish which looks good on the skin. And I'm going to leave a review on this particular mini review on this particular foundation in the description box below because i'm gonna be testing this out during the day for like a couple of hours but i won't be filming so definitely y'all can check the description box below to know my final thoughts on this foundation but so far i am very very impressed so yeah that's it for this video let me know in the comment section below what y'all would like to see what kind of videos y'all would like to see do y'all want me to try out like new makeup or whether y'all want me to do like um how to videos how to do eyebrows how to do eyeshadow because i think you guys seem to love those kind of videos so i'd be happy to do that and yeah if y'all did like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i'm gonna go now and i'll see y'all in my next video very soon and let bye